Who is God? This is a question that you can be asking uh, yourself every day. I know there are many gods, but I'm talking about the God, the creator, the God of uh, heaven, uh, the creator of heaven and earth. I'll begin with uh, Johnny. Johnny 1 verse 1, the Bible says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word was God. Uh, God doesn't change, meaning he, he who was the word in the beginning, is still the word even today. Now, how did he become a human? The Bible says in Johnny 1 verse 14, and the word became human, and the word became fresh, and brought among us and dwells among us in Matthew uh, uh, 1 verse 23 the Bible says uh, when the child is born you should give him a name Emmanuel meaning God with us meaning if that child will be a God with us you be a God with us. So, the reason why God became a human, it was for him to dwell among us because this is a physical realm. This is a visible realm. So, he was born. He was to born so that he may be visible. So, number one, God is the weight. Number two, John 4 verse 24, the Bible says, God is a spirit and those who worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit. So, God is a spirit. That's the reason why his spirit is God, the Holy Spirit. Maybe you are getting some sense. So God is spirit. And the other point is, number three, the Bible says in 1 John 4, verse 8, that God is love. If you don't love, you don't know God. The other point, who is God? God is you. Why am I saying God is every person? Because they are the city of God. Why am I saying they are the city of God? The Bible says in Matthew 25 going down that in the time when he come at the final judgment uh, he's going to tell us that I was sick. You could not visit me. I was this and that. You will ask him where did we see you uh, sick and we could not visit you? He will say the person you saw sick represented me. So when I say I'm Jesus, do not judge me. I'm not saying I'm a, I'm a creator. The Bible says the scripture cannot be broken for we are gods. So we are gods. But him is God, the creator. So we are the representative of God. We are able uh, to, to speak the mind of God. I think I've answered in this way. And God, the other, the other point I'll say it is um, uh, John 14 verse 6. The Bible says is the way the truth and the life. So God is the life. And where does that life dwell today? The life dwells in the scriptures. According to uh, 2 Timothy 3 verse 16, the Bible says all scriptures are the breath of God. All scriptures are inspired by God. And they are useful. So when you are reading scriptures uh, with the mindset of, uh, of uh, knowing or with the power of God, meaning you are taking the oxygen of God inside so that you may be a God as well. God